the reason why Christianity, the, the version that you hold, is not true, I'll give you in three simple steps. God necessarily is self-sufficient and independent. That's promise one. Jesus necessarily is not self-sufficient and independent. My conclusion from premise one and two, Jesus is not God. But does the, does the Bible ever say that Jesus is all of God? Now I'm telling you, Jesus is not God. So do you accept that, that Jesus is not God? No, I don't. So now tell me, what yeah. is invalid in my premises, in my argument? Do you disagree that God is necessarily self-sufficient and independent? But hang on, you're trying to use these terms, like what does self-sufficient and independent... You're using if you don't stuff, know, ask me, I'll tell you. You're using stuff about God. Are you saying you don't know what self-sufficient means? That Are you saying you don't know what independent means? You're, you're trying to apply these things. You're, you're no, trying no. to apply these things. If you don't know the meanings of these terms, God, you're trying to put God in a box. Uh, I'm not. No, I'm actually trying, trying to, to put open, God as He is. Trying so to let's, open up the box. So let me let me let me explain. Do you accept God is not dependent yeah. on anything or yes. anyone? Yeah. Right. Yes. That means He's independent. Yes. Do you also accept that God is self-sufficient? He doesn't need anyone to be, for him to be brought into existence. Yes. If you are truly, genuinely want to have a meaningful discussion, what I am asking for is not rocket science. You don't need to be a rocket scientist to understand that if we exist here, all dependent, the only reasonable explanation can be that we have to depend on something that is independent. Because if we depend on something dependent, the question starts again. What does that dependent thing depends on? Eventually, it has to depend on something that is independent. So it is not rocket science or philosophy. So far, wait, this, is, wait, this is wait, Christian wait, theology. Wait, so wait, far, this is Christian theology. Wait, Frank. So we have to accept by reason, intellectual discussion that we are having, but God has to be necessarily independent and self-sufficient. You are disagreeing with that premise because you know no, I've already made my argument. No, I'm not Let me finish. Let me finish. I've made my argument in three steps. Jesus necessarily is not self-sufficient. You know that. He's not. That is why any Christian Christian that comes here with sense and reason will have to admit Jesus is not God. So I am going to ask you again, do you disagree that God is necessarily self-sufficient and independent? I agree with that. You agree, good. But the Quran doesn't teach you. Hang on, hang on, hang on. The Quran does not teach you. Good, that. good. So you agree with the first premise. My second premise, Jesus is necessarily not self-sufficient and independent. Do you agree or disagree? No, I don't disagree with that at all. I, then, I don't agree with that at all. Why? Because I think I think you have no idea what so, Jesus is so, before he came on earth. So, so now you're, you're saying, saying you've seen okay. Jesus on earth. So let's now talk about it. You so know. Jesus, before the earth was created, he is independent and self-sufficient. That means he doesn't need the Father or the Son even to be in existence for Jesus to be there. He's part of the one existence. Hear me out. Jesus, if he's, if he's ever going to be labeled as independent and self-sufficient, it follows that he doesn't need even the existence of the Father or the Holy Spirit for his own existence. Is that right? No, because then you're teaching polytheism. Hang on. You're, te are you, you're teaching polytheism. Frank, uh, are you telling me? getting it. Frank, are you now telling me Jesus is dependent on the Father for his existence? They are one being. No. Is he dependent on the Father they're or is he independent being. of the Father? Yeah, they're one being and you have no idea. My question to you, Frank, without waffling, is Jesus dependent on the Father or is he independent on the Father? Jesus is the man on earth. You cannot... Is he dependent on the Father or is he independent on the Father before he created the whole universe according to you so I am not going to restrict Jesus as a man Jesus as the Logos which existed according to you before the foundation of this world so at that point is Jesus dependent on the father or is he independent there is no way out Frank you say he's dependent or you say he's independent well I can say he's not independent so he's dependent they're one being so because he's not independent so my premise is true yeah then he's not God